in its report. Uh, my superintendent's report I'm going to pass on to Brenda Wineland because she's like to give a little presentation for everybody. First of all, I'd like to um, introduce to you our newest school service director that is working with me now at CV, and this is Daphne Hiles. Well, Daphne. Uh, she well. comes from, she's been with us for two, two years, and she has come to CV from the eastern part of the state, so this is a, a fresh new beginning for her. <laughs> and she is going to present you with Nutrislice today. So she's okay. going to show you a little bit about what our new menu system does and how it works. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so if anyone wants to pull up a phone and follow along with me, this is actually a digital menu that will be implemented. Um, the website does have it online right now under the nutrition department. Um, so if anyone wants to see what's on the menu throughout the day, if you want to see breakfast, what's for lunch, you can see the current month. Um, and so if you want to go to the app store, you can search. What did I spell it right? Nutrislice, and you'll see School Lunch by Nutrislice. This is a partnership the Nutrition Group has created this year um, to implement um, some more um, innovations to bring us into the new 21st century. So we're not just printing menus for families, um, we're bringing in the new generation of parents. And so you can download the app and open it. So here we will look for, if I can get it spelled right, Charlotte Valley School District. <laughs> And then you'll agree to the terms. And so as you can see, our school logo and the nutrition logo is available on there. So you can look for a menu. We can look at this building, the intermediate. And for lunch today, they had popcorn chicken bowl with corn, or they had a GC cheeseburger, or a munch bowl or garden salad. Um, something I really love about this program is that it contains nutritional information. So if you want to know exactly what dietary information is offered to your child, you can see all of that. You can rate it. You can give a review. You can let us know your thoughts um, on the offerings that we have for the students. Some of the items have pictures. Yeah, could you speak up just a little bit? Sure. Thank you. Um, and then, okay, so here's a picture you can see of the juicy cheeseburger that we serve to the students. That's every Tuesday in the elementary schools. Um, and then also, you can find where where to go. You can filter out allergens. So if your child is allergic to wheat, if they're allergic to soy, if they're allergic to shellfish, you can actually click on something and go to today's lunch. And OK, nothing has milk in it. But if I looked at pizza, OK, that didn't work. Um, if you took out egg, there's egg in the cute pizza crust, right? Mm -hmm. So then you should be able to. Can you show it to them for the month? Well, this is on the app. It's yeah, not going to show it. But it <coughs> takes out items that are no longer available for your student to have and cross them out. And that's also available on the full site version. So if you go to the mobile website, you can <coughs> set the allergens, it'll remove them. And then if you want to print the page, it'll actually not even show them at all. So you only see what's available and what's safe for your child to have. Um, it's a great tool for nurses, for students with diabetic issues. They can see carb counts. They can see calorie intakes. Um, so it's, it's a great tool to bring the community more closer to the food service department. And it offers some transparency so they know exactly what is being fed to their students on any given day. And we update this. So if there is a issue with delivery and um, something doesn't come in, if a vendor changes it on us, or if there's a recall, and we have to do a last minute update to the menu, you can see what is on the menu for that day. So if we find out about something that we can no longer serve, we'll change it on the website, and that'll be more updated than the one that you get printed out at the beginning of the month. So that keeps everybody in the loop. Any questions? Anything else? So I do have a question. So this is a way to engage with the community primarily. Absolutely. So is there an analogous tool or app that engages with the students? If they want to download the app, they're more than welcome to. Uh, the last district I came from had an iPad for every student, so we pre-downloaded it onto the iPad, so whenever they had free time in their class, they could see what was for lunch. They could rate what they didn't like, what they did like. They so that they were able to rate those. So I was going to ask about, are the, is there an opportunity to give feedback? Absolutely. And then we get to see those analytics. Um, we actually launched the app in December, but it wasn't communicated enough to the parents. 
So now that we're in January, we're able to see the increase in usage. We're able to see if they downloaded it or if they're using the website, if they're leaving comments, if they're looking up straight on the app from the app store, or if they're going through the district website on the link that we offer. So have we communicated that to students that they, I know, I know that there's been parent communication. It's been a soft sell right now. We communicated it to parents and to teachers. So we kind of wanted them to kind of see what it was. And we've gotten some feedback from parents a little bit here and there. And so we're still trying to do the whole paper menu that's put on the website so they can still print it out and stick it to the refrigerator because the one that's printed from Nutrislice isn't really refrigerator friendly as Chuck calls it. <laughs> as we like so um, we're kind of doing both right now we'd like to get to the point where we get more feedback from the kids the students that's what we really want we want to know what do you like what do you don't like right I would think that would be I would think that they'd be out, at, out on this all the time mm -hmm. so I think we're going to try and start at the middle school and see if we can work with the kids there that we can get the, the app on the phones or their iPads or whatever they have so we can work with them. And could, is it also available on website? Could they get yes. on their laptops? And you can go right on Nutrition yeah. or CB's website under yeah. the Nutrition Group page and you can see that it's right there. So if you go to Nutrition, this is the mobile version, but if you go to where the links are, normally this will be on the right hand side where you see the link to the regular PDF menus. You can just see check on our new menu. The digital menus on your slice, and it'll take you to the website. <coughs> and again, you can look and find your school. They can see what other schools are having that use this website, um, but mostly just they can see what's going on. So currently, our outreach to the students is our YAC meetings that we have to get their input. What did more. you say? Pardon me? We have a youth advisory council that we get of the kids to have a one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, what was that again? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what nutrition calls them. It's a youth advisory council. It's essentially a focus group, so we have that one-to-one. -one. But again, as a focus group, it's just a limited number of students. Mm -hmm. So there's not more, it's not a broad reach, so this will enable us to access more thoughts from the kids, more opinions from kids that don't necessarily buy and are included in the YAC meetings, um, but kids that pack and they want to see stuff more from home that they can have offered in the cafeteria. So what is the rough timeline to engage with students in a, not a softer sell, a harder sell? Right, that's what we really want. Now that Daphne's here with me. <laughs> I can get to more things, so we're hoping to get to that this month, where we can engage the kids at the middle school and, and get them going with it, mm -hmm. and really, really start using the features that are in there. Could we uh, see some data at some point? Yeah. Sure. Yes, absolutely. We have a little. Just we know how many people are actually using it now. Daphne has that little app on there that tells you. Yes. Um, I look at the menu and I update it. At the beginning of December, we had 230 some usages, so visits to the site. Um, mostly that was me just refreshing the page and making sure that it was working. <laughs> um, and then at the, at, I think it was earlier this week, we had 900 some usages. So in just two weeks, we've increased significantly, which is a great thing. Great. Yeah. Yes. We'd, we'd love to see that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, continue oh, progress. Absolutely. Um, I just had one other question. The, the allergy thing and, and do's and don'ts, that, I think that's probably one of the most effective parts of the whole program. Uh, if a kid comes up to the checkout line mm -hmm. and they have something on their plate that they're not supposed to eat, what happens? That actually happened just not yesterday, the day before. I was at the um, intermediate school for breakfast and the little girl came up with a gluten allergy. It pops up from Arrow Edge, tells us that she has a gluten allergy, so the cashier came back and she said, this little girl's here and she's got gluten on her plate, what do I do? I said, you're gonna have to pull her aside and tell her that you know that's an allergen that she's not allowed to have. Fortunately, I was there and I actually took her over to the nurse. I'm like, because I guess this is one of the pro problem children is she keeps coming up with, she doesn't want to eat what's on her <laughs> menu. So that was taken care of and handled right away. So that's we do, a, there's a pop-up right there that says no. That's great, it's great that it's there. And it's also, I, I, would, I would emphasize that you train that staff yes. person there yes. to be aware of what to do. Yes, um, and they do know that. It's, it's so a, critical. Right. Yeah, I mean, especially if we're providing the information now, right. then the district is somewhat 
held responsible for if that would get through the system. Absolutely, and so, that's why I took that little girl with me over to the nurse. Yeah, <laughs> so, I did not want that. Yeah, you know, it's absolutely that critical that the staff knows what to do and, and that the system works. Yeah, and, uh, it does sound like it's a training training opportunity. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So what is the plan to train the rest of the? They do know. It's just that when they see us in the building, they they like yeah. us to handle that more than they have to, so they just come to us because I guess it was a continuing issue that. I wasn't aware of yet, so now that we're aware of it, we know, and, and uh, the nurse took care of it, she called mom. And as long as morning. we have updated allergy information, we can stay on top of it. Some parents think that if I send in allergy information when they're kindergarten, they're good through senior year, but a lot of times allergies change over the course of a few years, and so it's nice to have updated information, and now that I'm here and working with Brenda, we can work on that with the nurse's department to get that information updated into our system so that we know to protect those particular students. Great. That's a good thing. Yeah. Thank you. We're really excited about yeah. it. I think it's I going to be a great, yeah, a great great function for our parents, our kids, yeah. and uh, keep the, move, the district moving towards the technology age. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So I have some flyers here for you, just if you want to take it out and download that app at home. Uh, <laughs> and it's finally, it's here. Here. <laughs> and it's finally with iPhone and Android users. You can see it in the app store. Any questions? You got it. Yeah. I, the only other thing I would say in, in, in regards to the, the type of device they use, mm -hmm. I mean, I, and I'm a big believer in this, and my kids are out of the school district, but I think the phones are a distraction in our schools. Mm -hmm. So I would much rather them have it downloaded onto the device that we provide them, Absolutely. and not have them get used to using their phone as a, as, a, as a substitute. I would much rather have them use the device that we provide them and keep their phones out of the picture as much as possible. I think phones are a problem within school districts. Oh, cool. And we can, so, we can work with Scott back there. That's yeah. only my opinion. So, you know, this is a board. I don't just understand. <laughs> so, but that, that, is, that would be something I would, you know, like to see. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank 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 you. Th